Welcome back to the channel. We are here at one of the funnest weekends of the year. Kickstarted off with the Freedom 500. So you're gonna be ripping our Crown Vic. She set up, this is the same Crown Vic we used last year in all the races. So from Freedom 500 last year until Lay Mullets when Garza almost totaled it, the whole frame rail was bent. Our boy Dave in the shop fixed it up, got it right for us. I'm feeling good. I've been really focusing a lot more on, you know, the lines on the track, racing, been doing really good with the Ranger. So it's been really awesome to hopefully bring that into this race. A lot of very good drivers in this race. It's gonna be very competitive, the most cars we've ever had. So we're got, about to do qualifying. We'll see how we do in that. Haven't even gotten the car and drove it or anything yet. I'm going in cold. We'll go drive it, see what it does in qualifying. Hopefully, we qualify good and don't have an issue. Hopefully, we go in the race and do even better and we take us home a helicopter because I'm ready to start flying you around all the events. You good with that? Uh, we can fly home tonight. Ish, yeah. How about, just in case, so I get a better angle, maybe I'll just follow you with the truck. Well, no, uh, that wouldn't make sense. But you gotta fly with me, it's It'd be so much better. Nobody's gonna pull us over in a helicopter. <laughs> this we're is true. So, we're gonna be flying home tonight. It's gonna be awesome. And then tomorrow, we got Burnout Rivals, which you got a truck, I got a truck, and we're, we're gonna, gonna take the whole comp. Tomorrow. We got that for tomorrow. Total so. domination. Absolutely. You're doing open comp, I'm gonna do the other one. So, let's go. So we are headed out for our first qualifying. We're gonna see what we laid out, or not first qualifying, for qualifying. Go see what we lay down for a pass, see how the car's running, It'll be a good little shakedown. See how everything's working. Here they go. They get a warm-up pass and then they get their two pads, their two fast passes. So how did it feel? Felt pretty good, man. It, well, it felt really bad. It was very slippery out there. Sorry so, about that last lap. You, <laughs> oh, that was, you're good, man. Yeah, you're good, no worries. Up. Sorry about that. Very slippery out there. The cars are like ice skating compared to like the Ranger with the tire setup we have on the Ranger, you can just stick the corners. Ain't happened on these things, but you gotta get used to this thing pushing again. So, so far so good. We did a good lap. It was mid-19s, which is awesome. Um, we'll just hopefully, we'll see if they do a full field inversion. Let's see what everybody else qualifies as. We are the second group. As of the second group, I think I had the fastest qualifying lap. You got the but, fastest qualifying for so far. But after that, let's, uh, I think there's gonna be some really good guys and the track's gonna be a little better as time goes on. So the guys should get a little bit faster, but we'll see what happens, but it felt okay, so. Yeah, I was wondering when we were watching, I kind of commented, I said, I wonder if it's because he's getting more comfortable driving the Ranger, if that's why, you know, if he's kind of overdriving this car or if the track was just slick, but I think it's kind of a combination of both. Kind of a combination. Yeah. yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> Wait, what did you, what was your prediction? I can't remember. <laughs> All right, guys, we're sitting at number one qualifier right now. So we qualified first. We got a very, very, very tight field. I think the whole field is within one second of each other. 
The last guy I think ran like a 20.6 or something, and we I ran a 19.6. It's very close. Um, so the racing is going to be tight. I don't think they're doing invert in the field. I don't think they're going to invert it. If they don't, then we will start first and hopefully stay up there. God, but that would be awesome. It's right now. It's uh, a lot of these guys, man. I mean, they they're they're going to get better throughout the race. Anything that happen throughout the race is going to be wild. But it's pretty cool to feel a lot of these, these are very good drivers, professional drivers, and I ended up qualifying first out of everybody. So I feel really good about that. Car's feeling good, I'm feeling good. Got my lucky suit on. We should be good. If we start today with a win, if we can start today with a win and win two or three tomorrow, come on. The like, yeah, the rest of the year. Just total domination. Maybe, maybe you should be taking on the first one. Yeah, the Van Free, here we go. Lead up here is the 134. Looks like it is down for the count. Uh oh, we got a jump coming. Thank you. Another jump coming off. Little smooth.
So at this point, we ran a couple clean, good laps. Everything was going really good, no issues. Still out front, started first and uh, kept it going. And then uh, started getting into some lap traffic here a few laps later. Nothing crazy, but uh, we did get through some lap traffic. Um, that makes things a little bit interesting in these races for the guys out front. Vice Grip is still on my tail. Uh, Adam LZ is right there. Travis Pastrana is right there. A couple of really good drivers. So uh, we'll keep her going here. and You guys can keep watching and check it out and see how this race plays out. So about 20 laps in, we finally have our first caution. Uh, just think of somebody spun out, but the race is going super smooth. Everybody's racing very clean. I don't think we've ever had this many cars last this long into a race. And um, things start getting a little interesting as usual. Now, when we do the restarts, there's a start box that is <clears throat> on that. You'll see two yellow lines on the turn four, between turn three and four. You have to start between those two lines. Now, a couple of people are like saying I jumped the start and all this stuff. I am the control car. If you are in first place and you're on the inside, you are the control car. So what that means is nobody can go until you go. And I can floor it anywhere between those two lines I'm allowed to go. So as you can see, every time we did that, no issues. But that is the rules. I'm the control car. It doesn't go green until I go green. If I leave that start box and never go it is automatically green. So just so everybody knows the rules on that and they see how this thing plays out.
as you can still see, Vice Grip is on my tail for most of the race. The guy was a machine out there. Uh, I was able to keep holding him off, but he was right there. Him, Adam LZ was not far behind him. And then you got the very good uh, drivers as far as Travis Estrana and Tanner Faust and them coming up right behind them. So it was really close. We kept pulling out and getting the lap traffic, but our group would typically kind of leave the pack and keep going forward. Coming around, getting ready to restart. This is their second restart of the race. Justin's still inside on the pole. Getting close to the halfway point now. So if you watch on these restarts, uh, being the guy in the front, you have a huge advantage, especially being the control car. If you watch, these guys are all pushing me, pushing me, pushing me. We're bumper to bumper, and I'll normally wait until somebody gives me a good little bump. And as soon as I get it, 
that's when I'm at it, and that's when I start pulling on it because that slows them down and then obviously speeds us up. I'm not hitting the brakes. I'm not doing anything kind of funky. I kind of just wait on those guys, keep my normal pace, and when they hit me, I take off because obviously that's going to slow them down and obviously speed you up, and it worked out every single time. I don't think I'll ever get this lucky again, but it did work out like every single restart on this race, which was awesome. Got Justin on the inside, Vice Grip on the outside, Travis behind.
I'm telling you, man, Derek from Vice Grip Garage was on it this race. Me and him always seem to be together on these races, and we try our best to run each other clean. I would never try to intentionally take him out. I think he's the same with me. We want to go. We want to have fun, and uh, it's great racing with him. And honestly, it's great racing everybody out there. So, But Derek is always up there with me, it seems like. Me and him, we will usually get up there. We may have some bad luck on the last lap or throughout the race. We have a car issue. Uh, but Derek is always a tough competitor, and he was telling you guys, seeing him on the mirror was not, I mean, it was never getting easier, the race. Do you guys know how nerve-wracking it is to hear over the radio? You have Tanner Faust next to you. You have Travis Pastrana behind him. Kevin Smith, Vice Grip Garage, Brent from PFI Speed are all right on your tail. Just having Tanner Faust and Travis Pastrana in my mirror, like, racing against them, guys I've watched all my life and looked up to, it is nerve-wracking, one, and it is just an insane feeling, and, uh, I was doing everything I could to drive the best I could to keep those guys off of me because, I mean, they have to have more experience than anybody out there.
10 laps to go and we got another caution. We are getting ready for our restart. 89 laps, we got 11 laps to go. Justin on the inside, Derek on the outside.
everyone! Woo! Oh my goodness! We won! We just freaking won the Freedom 500, baby, and a helicopter fired me up. I am so fired up right now, dude. Brother! Let's go. I'm Thank you, you so like, much, dude. Thank how you the so hell much. Did you need 100 laps. I wasn't quitting, dude. I can't believe it, dude. Oh, what a. Let's go! Let him hear it, folks! Your winner of the Freedom 500, J. H. Diesel! Wire to wire victory. Can you believe this guy picked you to finish last? Dead last? Well, you showed him. I had, a, I had to prove something after seeing that, so I feel like we did it. What do y'all think? All right, I say J.H., you say who? J.H., J.H., J.H. I'm going to be honest. Dude, I literally put this guy last on my list because I knew he'd crash again. How in the world did you lead 100 laps. Dude, just great team, helped me out, and uh, just ran the car the best I could, was smart about it, didn't drive too hard, and uh, pulled it off. Dude, I cannot believe it. I honestly, I had to birdie first, and I saw him go out probably first. And then the guy I had last leads the whole damn race. Just killed it, dude. I mean, let's hear it for J.H. Diesel. Just a huge shout out to this guy right here and everybody in that race. None of this would be possible for this guy right here. So let's hear it. Thank Thanks, you so brother. much. Thank you. I'm going to be honest. I caused probably half of those cautions because I was like, can someone get this guy out of first place? I wasn't letting go, dude. I, I was, was like, not. please, like Tanner or Travis. Dude, Derek was rubbing you on the restarts. I'm like, surely he's going to blow an outside right tire. There's no way we can let this guy lead the entire race. And somehow he pulled it off. So let's hear it for JH one more time. So uh, is this where I do donuts on your grass? Is this the part? Who wants to see some donuts? <laughs> this is worst case scenario. Woo! This is worst case scenario. Oh, why? Oh. Why? No! Hit the helicopter! Oh! Why? Ah. All right, you're done. You're done. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, J.H. Diesel, winner of the Freedom 500 2024.